Hi everyone, my name is Alex. If you're new to my channel, welcome. And if you're a returning subscriber, welcome back. Today, I'm going to be trying the Good Molecules Gentle Retinol Cream. This product retails for $8. Wow. <laughs> I cannot believe I'm trying out a retinol that is $8. I am really like just blown away by this price. Good Molecules always has amazing prices on all of their products. And that's one reason why I've always had my eyes on this brand because they make really effective products for cheaper than you ever could imagine that skincare would be. I've had the opportunity to try a couple of Good Molecules products and I haven't had bad results with them. So I'm really hoping that this one will work good for me. This product is vegan, cruelty free, fragrance free, alcohol free, and comes in recyclable packaging. Some of the ingredients that Good Molecules wants to highlight in this product include a 0.1% concentration of retinol and bakashul. To learn more about those ingredients and to check out the full ingredient list, make sure you click the link in the description to go to the Good Molecules website. Now, retinol trials I usually do just a little bit differently because I'm not able to use the product as much as say like a cleanser or a moisturizer. I'm just looking for a couple of specific things that I can find within about one to two weeks. Usually retinol takes a longer time to see results with, so you won't see crazy results with this trial. With that being said, there are just a few things that I'm looking for. One of them being, I wanna see if this is drying in any way. It says that it is a gentle retinol cream, so I'm hoping that that will mean that this is a more moisturizing form of retinol. I've used some retinols in cream form before and I actually like them as opposed to a serum. I definitely have a preference for a more moisturizing retinol. Another thing that I'm looking for is just to see if there's any sensitivity with this product that I witness. Retinol can be one of those ingredients that's more harsh and more intense on the skin than any other product. That's why they say to use it very slowly. So I definitely want to see how this product is and how it reacts with my skin. If I have any sensitivity to it, I'm really hoping that won't happen with this product. The final thing I'm looking for is actually based off a claim that is on their website. They say that more dry skin can use it once to twice a week, but more oily combination skin can use it four times a week, which hearing that right off the bat, I'm hoping that sets the pace for how this retinol performs since it is gentle. With that being said, I would definitely recommend if you are new to retinol, starting out using it once a week, no matter how gentle the product, it is good to get a feel for how your skin will react to this type of ingredient. Retinol is definitely not something to play around with and I'm going to listen to my skin after the first initial use and see how much I feel like I can use it. If I find anything else during this trial, I will let you all know. I will be continuing to do check-ins with this product, so I will see you all in the next check-in. Hi everyone, I am fresh out of the shower. <laughs> Hi everyone, I just wanna check in and let you all know how this trial is going so far. I've actually been able to use the product for about a week now. I just wanna let you all know how this trial is going. I've actually been able to use the product for two times in one week. So far, I really love this product. I think it is such a gentle retinol and that is what I like so much about it. Since it is in a cream form, I feel like it's the best way to actually deliver retinol to your skin. I I have used some pretty intense retinol serums before. They have been very drying to my skin, but this has been the complete opposite. It's actually given my skin a very nice glow to it, which is amazing for a retinol. Also, $8. <laughs> That's all I have to say, $8 for this. This is going to last me a very long time. I really think that I'm only going to use it probably about twice a week in my normal everyday routine, and I'm talking that's maximum. I am going to continue using it for just a little bit longer, and if anything else happens, I will check in. If not, I will probably be back with my final thoughts. So I will see you all in the next check-in. Hi everyone, I am back to give you all my final thoughts on this retinol, so let me go ahead and talk about some of the things that I found during this trial. 
I actually had the opportunity to try this for about a week and a half and I used it four times. I honestly feel like that personally myself using it twice a week was about perfect for me. I do feel like if you have more oily skin and you are more used to using retinol and you know you can handle it, I would say that it is gentle enough where you could use it the maximum that they recommend. I think two times is perfect for me. I saw some amazing results with this retinol and it was just a week and a half. I cannot believe that this product is only $8. I just can't get past that. I noticed a lot of difference in my skin texture and my acne and my hyperpigmentation. My forehead specifically got so much better while using this product. I am impressed by how gentle yet effective this retinol is. I definitely feel like it will last a long time and I mean not that the price point needed any more justification. The fact that Good Molecules made such an amazing retinol in such a gentle form for $8, that is so impressive. I know that brands a lot of times upcharge their retinols. Retinols can be anywhere from $10 to $120. Like they can be anywhere in that range. And a lot of times brands upcharge retinols. And so it's actually very refreshing to see the most affordable retinol product that I have seen so far be such an amazing form of retinol. I definitely feel like that incorporating a retinol in a more moisturizing form was a really smart idea for people who may just be getting into retinol or people who have used retinol for a while but are looking for a more gentle form of it because retinol is one of these very intense products that can dry you out and cause a lot of bad damage to your skin if you're not careful. I definitely think you should still be careful with this product and start out once a week if you are new to using retinol. Build up as you go. It's always better to start slow and build up rather than be all at once and damage your skin. I would 100% recommend trying out this retinol, especially for $8. As a college student, I've said this multiple times, it is so nice to have affordable skincare that really works and is really effective. I have already recommended this to a few of my friends, but I would definitely recommend at least trying it. I feel like it's suitable for all skin types and I also feel like it is a great starter retinol for someone who may be lost in the world of retinol because it's very easy to get there. I was there once and if I would have known about this product or if this product would have been released at that time, I feel like it would have introduced me into retinol and it would still be a product that I still use to this day. It's honestly, in my opinion, the best way to incorporate retinol in your skincare routine. So I would 100% recommend trying this product. I had an amazing experience with it and I am so glad that I got the opportunity to try it. But anyway, thank you all so much for watching this video. If you liked it and you want to see more like this, make sure you're subscribed because I post new videos every week and I will see you all in the next review.